right, so we're at Rick Hinderer's personal gun range. He has obviously into knives and has a couple cool guns mm -hmm. in his collection. Guns and knives, fun. And what are you shooting here, Rick? This is a STG 44, or better known as a Sturmgewehr. Uh, this is the uh, granddaddy of assault weapons. Every assault weapon made came pretty much from the Sturmgewehr. So this is a uh, pretty rare gun. And of course it is a transferable uh, gun. So it is full auto. Select fire, Sturmgewehrs are select fire, which is really pretty cool. And actually they have, uh, one thing I really like about the Sturmgewehr, the design, is the uh, selector switch is right here, which is separate from the uh, 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 a trigger control or fire switch, safe and fire. So, which is really neat. An M16, you have safe fire, uh, which is semi-auto, safe fire, and then full auto. You just turn all the way around. This, safe fire, but the selector switch is right here on the side. So, we'll, uh, we'll shoot uh, semi-auto first. Eyes and ears. Fun gun to shoot. <laughs> All right, Rick, can you tell the good folks at home what we're looking at here? We are looking at a Browning 1919 general purpose machine gun from World War II. So uh, this is a, uh, a uh, transferable machine gun and um, I got it a couple years ago. This one uh, I converted to 308. Uh, the original Browning 1919s of course were 30 out 6 and uh, this one's shooting about 650 rounds a minute. and. Um, being 308, it's a whole lot cheaper to shoot than 30 out six. So, so um, yeah, these are a lot of fun. There's no uh, there's no manual safety on this. So once you uh, uh, once you charge it, it's ready to go. So so we'll uh, I'll charge it. We'll see uh, see what happens. And in case anybody's wondering why there's a T-shirt on the ground, we are not in the battlefield. So the little links holding the ammo together need to be collected and used at a later date. And uh, Logan's going to be my assistant gunner. He's going to come over here and hold the links. Hold the belted ammo. Just hold that up there and it'll kind of help, help feed it in. Right up there. We got a little bit of a 